What's up you guys? Welcome back to Vlogmas and today I just want to talk to you guys about some regular stuff that I do. Um, so like a lot of people that make YouTube videos, I'm always at home a lot and I'm always trying to figure out like what to make videos of and stuff like that. So I just came across this one girl's video. I don't watch her but she's big on YouTube. She has like 400,000 subscribers or something like that. And um, she was talking about how she's 21 and she is um, successful on YouTube and she's successful in life, meaning that she has the money, but she's not happy. Um, yeah, you can, well, you know, you can tend to feel lost when you have like instant success, when you feel like you have instant success and everything like that. So, um, on YouTube, I'm just like learning now how to, um, how to be a part of the small YouTube community and just how to be patient and grow and everything like that because nothing comes overnight. I think a lot of the times like YouTubers, young YouTubers or who are in their like early 20s or anybody, I mean you could be in your 30s or whatever you get instant success or younger 12 years old. I see people so young on YouTube getting instant success and I think that you do kind of miss out on something like some things I've done in my life people would consider really really cool and really really fun and everything like that and some things I feel like I've missed out on some things like school like being serious in school and not like have graduating yet and stuff like that but um I just really understood what she was saying when she was like she feels not happy and or lost and she said that she was purchasing a lot of lenses for her cameras and I was like oh god I was just looking at some new lenses but um yeah like it's really easy to feel lost especially on YouTube when people are watching you and of course if you don't look like you know what direction you want to be going in people are gonna call you lost and they're gonna like wanna tell you what to do you my breakfast on camera what I've learned from growing up is that I think that we're all lost and I also think that you can't tell somebody what to do with their lives. Like, nobody wants somebody telling them what to do with their lives. I mean, people do indirectly ask for advice, yes. But sometimes it's kind of like, when I was in the fourth grade, my teacher told me that if a moth is like trying to break out of like the cocoon or whatever, if you help it, as soon as it like gets loose, it'll die. It's kind of like that. Like you can't really push people up too high. You have to kind of allow them to work for it themselves, no matter how much it looks like they're struggling, no matter how lost they look, it's not your job to help find them. So just let them, you know, do it themselves and it'll be better for them. And I can agree with that. Like there have been some times where I've been in a jam and people have given me the money and there, there, have, there have been times where I've been in a jam and they have not given me the money and I had to work for it. And believe me, honey, when you work for something, it just feels so much better. Like you appreciate it way, way more. So, <laughs> and sometimes I feel like people on YouTube when they get the instant success, they don't know what to do with it. And they're just like caught looking really, really crazy with like all these people watching. <laughs> so, I mean like sometimes it's better to just stay small and do your own thing, okay? If you mess up and fall, okay, a lot of people are not watching. Not to say that you aren't worthy of being big and great, but you know, sometimes you are meant to be in a small position for the time being. Because, honey, the foolishness that I have been seeing on YouTube lately. Yeah. I don't really have anything else to say. 